The other day I was thinking, which is a very dangerous thing to do when you're someone daft like me. I thought of the video I made a few weeks ago about the top 5 strategy games on the Nintendo Switch, and then it hit me. Why should we settle for the games that we currently have? Why should we not dare to dream about what else could come in the future and what could be ported over right now from what's currently out there? Why did I feel the need to start the video in such a dramatic and bizarre way? So after labouring away for a good few hours, I present to you 5 strategy games that should come to the Nintendo Switch. Ok enough of the theatrical nonsense, let's talk about what the qualification requirements are for this list. Most importantly I've got to deem the game a good game. Additionally we can't use the franchise more than once and the game has got to fit the Switch. It's got to be feasible that the game could one day be ported over and also that it would function relatively well on the console. With all that laid out, let's get into number 1. Warcraft 3 was originally released way back in 2002, or as I know it, the olden days. And it's actually a real gem that doesn't really get the attention it probably deserves. The game which was developed by Blizzard Entertainment is a real time strategy game where players are required to build bases, collect resources and recruit and train units and heroes in order to achieve a number of goals or to defeat an opponent. Although Warcraft 3 does include some great gameplay, the fundamentals aren't anything radical for what you'd expect to see in an RTS game. However, it's in its characters that this game really comes into its own. The game drags you into the Warcraft world and allows you to choose from one of four playable factions, these being humans, orcs, the night elves and the undead, all of which give the game a great feel. Not only was Warcraft 3 a great game at the time, but I also think it would work perfectly on Switch. Wargroove proved that a strategy game doesn't need to be crazy complicated to be successful on Switch. Warcraft 3 would offer a fantastic experience that Switch gamers could quickly get their heads around. Not only this, but with the game celebrated for its multiplayer, imagine how much fun online sessions of this game could be. Could this game ever come to Switch though? Well, Warcraft 3 has recently been breathed new life as it's currently been reforged, basically remastered slash remade for Windows and Macintosh. However, the people at Blizzard have dampened down expectations of a Switch port, suggesting the two would not be compatible. So sadly, it's not looking incredibly likely right now. Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 was one of the first games to introduce me to the world of RTSs, and therefore I had to get one of the CNC games on this list somewhere. Although in the last decade the franchise has not had the best of times, that's probably the biggest understatement I've ever made on the internet, it would still be fantastic if they could port something like Red Alert 3 over to Switch. The games, well the good ones at least, take place in an alternate timeline and their gameplay revolves around short battles which include base building, constructing an army with some frankly immense weapons at your disposal and finally taking out your opposite commander. One of the features that really make these games stand out from their RTS siblings are the cutscenes which, specifically in the campaigns, heavily feature and star some relatively famous people. Red Alert 3 for example featured the legendary George Takai who is probably best known for his role as Sulu in the original Star Trek films and Tim Curry who is probably best known for making me soil myself for his role as Pennywise the Clown in that scary film It. Any of the Command and Conquer games that stick to the basic formula would be great to play on our Switches, hell just give us a bundle of them. Age of Empires 3 is getting towards its 15th birthday this year, but just because it's a little old doesn't mean it wouldn't be great on Switch. Age of Empires 3 is the third entry into a franchise which allows players to take an initial town centre and a few people to a great town with a powerful army via exploration of the map, the gathering of resources, the research of new technologies and the construction of new units and buildings. For me, and I'm sure many others, it's a combination of a great RTS with some of the great mechanics that the Civilization franchise brings, including the advancement through time. Age of Empires 3 really would be an amazing addition to the Switch's library of games, and with the franchise having previous with console versions, including the Nintendo DS, though to be fair Age of Empires The Age of Kings was slightly different, wouldn't it be great if next month's E3 we finally learn more about Age of Empires 4 including news of a Switch version? 
We can live in hope, but in the meantime, I would consider pretty much any Age of Empires game, especially Age of Empires 3 on Switch, which would be an exceptional port. If you're a big fan of strategy games, then there's a good chance that you're going to enjoy a city builder as well. And because of my incredible thinking here, I've gone and put one of the best, and certainly the most eccentric, city builders I can think of on this list. Yes, it's the game that lets you take on the role of your favourite historical dictator, Tropico 6. In Tropico 6, there's so much for you to do. Most predominantly, it's your responsibility to construct a great city whilst managing economic and political dynamics. Although there's quite a lot of detail if players are going to maximise their experience from the game, Tropico 6 doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's sprinkled with lots of light-hearted comedy moments which would complement the casual nature of the Switch as a console. Granted, some bits are funnier than others though. Additionally, if we are to get our dictatorial baseball caps on for a Switch version of the game, it would undeniably complement a genre that I feel the Switch could do with strengthening. Tropico 6 is already set to be ported over to the current generation of Xbox and PlayStation consoles on August 30th of this year, showing that the game certainly isn't PC exclusive. Hopefully one day we'll be able to take our ruthless dictatorial behaviour into the outside world on our portable switches. Loyal citizens, I stand before you truly humble. If you are dedicated enough to watch all of my videos, then congratulations on finding the peak of entertainment. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to talk about XCOM 2 again. When back in 2017 Ubisoft decided that a Mario and Rabbids tactical love child was a good idea, which as it goes it actually was, it was this franchise that it certainly drew inspiration from. XCOM 2 takes first place on this list, not just because of its quality, but I also think it's the game that would fit best on the platform. In XCOM 2 you control the movements and decisions of your squad in a variety of different turn-based missions against an occupying alien force with one wrong move proving the final action in the life of one of your unique and precious squad members. The game also has fantastic map design and a really cool cinematic camera which lets you view some kills close up if you're into that kind of thing. There's also a pretty good chance XCOM 2 will come to Switch with the success of its fellow Firaxis strategy title Civilization 6 on the platform, so hopefully we'll get this soon. Although I've named 5 fantastic strategy games there that I think would fit really well on Switch, there are some strategy titles that I missed off this list and therefore it's only right that I do an honourable mention section. Civilization Revolution would 100% have been on this list if Civilization 6 hadn't already been ported over to Switch. The 2008 purpose-built Civilization console game captured the magic of the franchise, but brought a simplicity that was perfect for a console version to ease players into the Civilization franchise. It's a great game that I'd still seriously recommend playing to this day. Games from the Total War series like Medieval 2, Shogun 2 and Rome 2 are games that I'd love to take on the go with me. I'm not sure how possible a Switch port would be with the size of the games though, which is the only reason one of these didn't fully feature on this list, but if it does ever happen on Switch then wow. Talking about games that are probably too complicated for the Switch, let's dive into the world of paradox strategy games. Games like EU4, Crusader Kings 2 and most recently Imperator Rome offer thrilling experiences with a crazy amount of detail. These are great on PC and maybe one day they'll be great on console too. So there you have it, there's my top 5 strategy games that should come over to the Nintendo Switch with a few additional honourable mentions. What do you think to this list though? Do you like my picks or have I missed out your favourite strategy game of all time? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you have enjoyed, be sure to share this with a friend, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for plenty more strategy and Switch gaming content. Thank you for your time today and I'll see you in another video soon.